welcome to Agron Infotech. In this tutorial you will learn how to carry out analysis of split plot design, mean comparison test for main as well as interaction effect and plotting bar graphs with standard error using RStudio. Import the data file. This is data recorded for days taken from emergence to heading in rice. It consists of two factors that is varieties and seedling age. Varieties were kept in main plot and comprised of two levels. Seedling age was kept in subplots and comprised of three levels. Two varieties were named as Super and Shaheen Basmati. Three seedling age used were two weeks old, three weeks old and four weeks old seedlings. Each experimental unit was repeated four times. Write head with file name to see the data frame. The head function does tell you that the data looked as if they came in right. The str or structure function will tell us the format for each column in the data frame. It gives information about rows and columns. It also gives information whether the variables are being read as character, integer, factor, or number. Here in this example varieties and seedling age are being recognized as character. You can use as dot factor command to enable R to recognize these variables as factor. Type file name and main plot factor combined with dollar sign and assigned as the function of as dot factor for main plot factor. Similarly in previous command just change the main plot factor with sub plot factor. Now again use structure command and you will see both treatment variables are being recognized as factor. For analysis of variance of split plot design assign model by using with function, write file name, and use sp.plot command for split plot. In parenthesis type block, main plot factor, sub plot factor and response variable that is heading. This will construct analysis of variance for split plot giving two error terms. The ANOVA table shows significant results for the main effects while interaction is not significant. However, I shall proceed for mean comparison test for both individual treatment and interaction effect. For mean comparison test R should use degree of freedom and mean square from error A term for main plot mean comparison. For subplot and interaction mean comparison the degree of freedom and mean square should be used from second error term. For this objective you need to first assign GLA as model and GL.A combine with dollar sign to represent error degree of freedom for the first error term. Similarly, assign GLB to represent error degree of freedom for the second error term. Now you need to assign EA and EB to represent mean squares of first and second error term, respectively. For mean comparison of main plot factor, type out one assigned as the function of with while in parenthesis give file name and type lsd.test, response variable, main plot factor, GLA and EA while write true for console. The results showed that Super Rice variety took more time to heading than Shaheen variety. For mean comparison of subplot factor, in previous command use out2 and change main plot factor to subplot factor also change GLA and EA to GLB and EB. The results indicate that with increase in seedling age, the time from emergence to heading also increase. For interaction mean comparison test, in previous command use out3 and change subplot factor to interaction term and no need to change GLB and EB. The results indicate the super rice variety with 4 weeks old seedlings took more time to heading than Shaheen rice variety with younger seedlings. For plotting bar graphs with standard error bars, use bar.error function and write out 1 and means combined with dollar sign, for variation use standard error and give y axis limits. To give titles use title command, give value to sex.main, type main title, x labels and y labels. For plotting bar graph for the second treatment factor, write out to in previous bar.error command. To give title use previous title command and change x labels to represent subplot treatment variable. For plotting interaction graph, use out3 in previous bar.error command. For titles just change the x labels to represent interaction term on x axis in previous title command. You can also plot bar graph for interaction term with main plot and subplot categories. 
For this you need to get interaction means table. To get the interaction mean table first assign x the function of analysis of variance with response variable separated by interaction term and data is equal to file name. Use model.tables command to get interaction means. Copy the interaction means. Assign input and in parenthesis paste the interaction means. Now assign means as the function of as dot matrix, use read.table function and for text connection write input. Header is true and give one value for row.names. Type means to see the two-way interaction table. Use bar plot function for means, beside is true, legend is also true, give y limits as sequence from 0 to 100, also give information for x and y labels. This will construct interaction bar graph. I hope this tutorial will be helpful for you. If you like this video hit a like and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more upcoming videos.